The following segment is sponsored by Center for Sports Medicine. My friend, Dr. Mitchell with Center for Sports Medicine joining us today. So let's talk about common overuse foot and ankle injuries. And before the show, Dr. Mitchell, you were explaining to me about uh, even in in children, uh, they can experience some heel pain. Tell me what this is all about. Yeah, so so there's actually a, a growth plate down at the back part of the heel bone called the calcaneus. And at the top part of that growth plate is where your Achilles tendon, near where your Achilles tendon attaches. And at the bottom part of your growth plate is where we, where our gait starts, where our, our heel strike happens. So during, during growth, especially in the, the peak growth years in, um, in uh, young athletes, especially they're doing a lot of uh, repetitive jumping or, or just taking a lot of steps running can have an overuse both kind of bruising around the bottom part of the growth plate. And we call it a traction injury where that tendon is pulling at the top part of the growth plate. When we're talking about uh, children, we're thinking you're talking about like 10, 11, 12 year olds, maybe around, around that age. Yep. Anywhere from, and, and a little bit younger average age in, in girls, they start the, the kind of growth process a little bit earlier, but yeah, somewhere eight to 12 is, is average. Um, some some parents come in a little bit nervous. They'll find this thing online called Seavers disease, and um, and that's 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 what the diagnosis is. It, disease kind of makes it sound more serious than it really is. Um, it can get bad to the point where if if young folks really love doing what they're doing and try to push through pain to the point where they're limpy, it can be bad enough to need like a walking boot and or a cast or that kind of thing. Um, But generally, we can get it better without that by doing the right stretches, modifying what we're doing, use some some cushions and and shoe inserts that can help that a lot. Okay, very interesting, because if if our child comes home, maybe from softball practice or soccer or even just playing on the, you know, on the playground at recess and and they're complaining about their heel hurting. Is that something that a parent should say, you know what, we, we need to call sports medicine and orthopedics? It'd be a good idea. So anytime, anytime there's a kid that's limping, I think having a having an orthopedist, uh, sports medicine specialist, evaluate it, especially if it lasts despite resting or it's it's um, lasting more than a day or so. Is this common? Really common, really common. And it's you know d- during during peak growth peak growth years and really active young athletes, it's really common, um, and it's really similar in a lot of ways to what. You know, once the growth plate closes, it's no longer something that can that 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 is uh, that can bother young folks. But it's similar to to something called plantar fasciitis that uh, those of us that don't have growth plates anymore can have the same kind of overuse injury. There's a band of tissue in the bottom part of your foot called the plantar fascia that that um, that we can have same kind of overuse injuries. And honestly, a lot of the treatment is the same: right okay. stretches, the right shoe inserts. And, and oftentimes anti-inflammatory medicines are helpful too. Mm. All righty, some great uh, insight, helpful information. Dr. Mitchell, will let you get back to your patients. Thanks for being on This and That with me today. Anytime, happy to. Center for Sports Medicine and Orthopedics, 423-624-2606, 1-800-757-2696, sportmed.com.